Well, this case uh, concerned uh, the legality of the McCain-Feingold campaign finance laws uh, donor uh, disclosure requirements for what are known as electioneering communications. These are advertisements that run in the last 60 days for a general election or the last 30 days before a primary on TV or radio that reference or depict federal candidates. Uh, this part of the McCain-Feingold law was very controversial when it was passed because many people believed requiring uh, private groups, including charitable organizations and other 501c organizations, to have to file reports with the government every time they aired TV or radio ads talking about federal candidates was, was unconstitutional under the First Amendment. Uh, but the Supreme Court has, has uh, ruled otherwise in a series of cases over the years, and the Independent Institute case was the latest example of the Supreme Court upholding the legality uh, of these electioneering communications disclosure requirements. Well, it, it's definitely, this decision is of interest uh, to nonprofit organizations that run TV or radio ads that discuss or reference federal candidates. It will be very important going forward for nonprofit organizations that um, are involved in that kind of advertising to make sure uh, that either their advertisements are run outside of the time windows when these disclosure reports are required uh, or otherwise uh, meet the disclosure requirements. And I think this is an important issue because uh, uh, the Independence Institute case, uh, it's a narrow decision and it doesn't affect the vast majority uh, of advocacy, television and radio advertising that 501c organizations do. Um, it's very narrow in the sense that it only applies to radio and TV ads that air close to a federal election and that depict or reference federal candidates. So all other types of advertising, all other types of advocacy that, that doesn't reference federal candidates or perhaps uh, is disseminated through other media like the internet is not subject to this decision. Uh, it's very narrowly grounded. I think it's an unfortunate decision under the First Amendment, but I think what's really important is it's not going to have ripple effects uh, and, and end up applying to other advocacy and legislative efforts by charitable and, and other 501c organizations.